Here now to react is Abigail Harrison. She is co-founder and president of the Mars Generation. She's an aspiring astronaut who wants to be the first to set foot on Mars. And she joins us now. Abby, thank you so much for joining us. Let me ask you, what made you want to do this? And, and I understand that you knew as early as 13, if not earlier, that this is what you wanted to do. Yeah, I've actually wanted to be an astronaut for as long as I can remember. Some of my earliest memories are probably when I was about four or five years old. And I remember just looking up at the night sky and being filled with this sense of awe and wonder, not at what we knew, but at how much we didn't know and how much there was left to explore. And so even before I knew the words for astronaut or knew anything really about space exploration, I knew that I wanted to be a part of making those discoveries, of pushing us farther into our solar system and the universe as a whole. So what and that you... passion stayed with me as I grew up. Yeah, and you've done a lot along those lines in order to make the dream come true, right? Where, where are you now in the process? So I just graduated from Wellesley College. Uh, I also just got my pilot's license. I am a scuba diver, a skydiver. I speak Mandarin and Russian. Um, I've done research at NASA labs for astrobiology, as well as research in Siberia. Um, and right now, I'm taking a gap year before I go to graduate school for a PhD. And I'm planning a whole bunch of exciting things during that wow. year that will hopefully help to add to my resume to become an astronaut. You're making me feel very lazy, but let me ask you, um, is there any reason, so your, your dream is to go to Mars. Is there any physical reason why it would make sense to send a man first? Or is there, in sports, obviously there's a big difference between men and women and their strength and speed. Is there anything about being an astronaut that makes one gender better and more suited for survival than the other? Not really. So I'll be the first one to admit that there are physical differences amongst the majority of the population of women and men. Um, not to say that you can't have women or men who are different in those, but uh, when it comes to space, both sides have pros and cons that make them more suited, more well suited for space travel. And when you look at it, it really does kind of equal out. However, I will say that in general, women are smaller, which means we cost less to launch to space. <laughs> I we love consume it. less resources. <laughs> yeah. So Smart. there's a whole number of reasons. <laughs> um, are you, but are no, you... to be serious, there's no, no reason for one or the other when you equal out the pros and cons. Yeah. Uh, would you be nervous about being the first person to Mars? I mean, the fact that we haven't been there yet, obviously you understand all the science around it, but would you be nervous and why is it important to go to Mars? Absolutely, I would be nervous. I think that anyone who says that they're not nervous or scared of space travel is either lying or crazy because it is an extremely dangerous thing to do, especially when we're doing something that we've never done before and that's so far outside of our realm that we like going to Mars. It's, it's almost unimaginable, but close enough to be possible. So being nervous is normal. It's recognizing that nervousness and then having the courage to step past it and to say, the reasons that we should go to Mars are important enough that I'll put that fear or those nerves behind me. And those reasons are, are numerous, but one of the big ones is that we need to continue to push ourselves in space exploration. We have to continue to ask ourselves, what is the next yeah. big thing that we can do in space? How can we improve? Doing so improves life, not just in space, but actually here on Earth. Everything that we do when we push our abilities in space yeah. makes life here on Earth better. Abby, I wish we had more time. I, I hope you'll come back soon, and we wish you luck on your journey. I, I know you're going to get there. So. Great to talk Thank to you. you. Thank so you so much.